Yole, yole, yole. What up, guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. And today I have a general collective love reading for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. The person that is on your mind. What is going on with the person that is on your mind? Keep in mind, Patreon did see this first. Patreon is another platform where as I create the videos, they're uploaded there and then they're slowly presented to you on YouTube if you're interested. The link's down below, my 18 plus deck. If you purchase that deck, ooh, ooh. If you purchase that deck, you are entitled to a free mini reading. So make sure that you email me as well. <clears throat> Overall energy. We've got the King of Cups and we've got the Knight of Swords, ladies and gentlemen. We got someone coming in with something, with something, with, um, dude, it's almost like something has been revealed to this person. Intuitively, they're feeling guided to come in. Um, this could be communication. This could be seeing your person very quick, very, um, very direct. Okay, the Knight of Swords, it's not only an energy of quick movement, communication, etc., but it's also an energy of bringing the truth forward. With the King of Cups, it could be that this person, you know, has decided maybe they want to choose you, they want to be faithful to you, they want to be reliable within this connection. <coughs> Excuse me. For some of you, your person has been maybe non-committal, now wanting to commit. The King of Cups huge water energy okay your person could be uh pisces cancer or scorpio or they could have water placements in their chart it is my husband card um someone emotionally available really wanting to give this a go with you something about your lips um really liking your lips really drawn to your lips um feeling turned on by that very specific message for some of you what is this person's overall emotional energy how are they feeling emotionally when it comes to you all right we got smitten yeah can't get enough can't get enough of you Maybe you have not been communicating with your person. Another very specific message that I'm feeling this person, um, where they're at right now, whoever they're dealing with, not dealing with, whatever their situation is, this person um, is putting up a fight. There could be fighting, <clears throat> something to do with fighting or... Um, arguing defending again putting up a fight i don't know if that relates to their personal life to their work life really fighting all right how are they how are they viewing the connection with you keep in mind no matter whatever comes out trust your own intuition on what you believe your connection to be okay with your person <clears throat> definitely i feel like you have stirred something in this person maybe starting to feel love they're starting to feel you know some type of um like psychic connection to you feeling a lot of passion they could be liking what they're seeing take that as that resonates all right definitely we've got the page of wands here ace of swords like i said there's something that is being seen by this person also wanting to communicate because the ace of swords is about communication as well seeing something clearly reaching out communicating that page of wands messages coming in communication some type of communication coming in for you yes absolutely just clarity seeing the bigger picture and now i'm hearing um hold on to the night hold on to the memory hold on 
into the night. It's a dude that sings it and it's an older song. We've got obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. <clears throat> if that song resonates with you, look it up. Let's go ahead and pull and see if there are any other songs. Hold on to the night, hold on to the memory. Ooh, yes, they're holding on to it. The image, this page of wand, she's got her hands sort of like clasped. As I'm saying it, looking directly at that, holding on, holding on to you, holding on to, ah, uh, for some of them, they're, hold, they're withholding communication intentionally. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like it. <clears throat> withholding communication intentionally. All right. Some of you can be dealing with a divine counterpart. We've got Stand By Me, Benny King. This keeps coming out, all right? And it says divine masculine. We've got, mm, the song is exchanged by Bryson Tiller and it says regret. I'm just gonna read the first line. This, this what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah, I start reminiscing, yeah. I. I don't know. I've never heard that. I don't think I've ever heard this song before. I don't know who the hell Bryson Tiller is. Next time around, F, I want it to be different. Yeah, waiting on a sign. Guess it's time for a different prayer. Okie dokie. <clears throat> there is some type of enlightenment, maybe even awakening happening for this person. The song is put it on the floor. Uh, Lotto featuring Cardi B and it says Phoenix and Masurika K I I -er, I don't know and well A A X admiring your glow up <laughs> uh okay so if any of those songs resonate with you sorry about my espanol no habla espanol okay my bad probably all the all the spanish crew watching me was <laughs> like what the fuck is what kelly this is how you say it <laughs> i don't i don't know all right <clears throat> admiring you admiring you safe to trust in this situation with your person and integrity does the situation align with your values and your morals really are you choosing yourself in this connection are you choosing yourself are you loving yourself are you not allowing certain boundaries to be crossed all right <clears throat> Some of you may not be trusting in this situation. Maybe you want to move on with somebody new, um, not getting communication from this person. I can tell you just based on this very basic energy pulling, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords, they absolutely want to communicate with you. Why they are not, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some of you shut the communication down with this person wanting more maybe you know maybe you spoke your truth with that ace of swords yeah definitely and there was something about what you said that is sticking with this person interesting we got faith wishing praying hope light at the end of the tunnel Really just trusting that everything is always working out. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> so you definitely trigger this person. We've also got patience, okay? Time, unexpected changes. Now is the time in patience and butterflies. Like this person, they can't stop smiling. This person has a lot of happiness. They have a lot of joy when thinking about you. And it also says devotion as well. And I'm putting that on the King of Cups card. 
again, this person, you know, they could definitely see the two of you together, seeing themselves being committed to you, <clears throat> being more open to you, not holding back, not hiding themselves, feeling complete, dude. But right now, um, there may be some other influence that, you know, um, could be very negative, does not necessarily have to be a love interest. Just somebody else that um, is interfering with, I don't know, maybe conversations with your person. Um, there's just seems to be a lot of negativity that's coming in and i don't feel like it's from your person i feel like your person is very hopeful they are very happy when thinking about making a decision whether it's in communication seeing you etc feeling guided let me take a moment and pull from the angel oracle deck they could be seeing signs synchronicities they could be feeling certain things maybe even Feeling like you in your energy. <clears throat> Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We got 15, 15, the big break. Innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills and goals, an opportunity, help, extra cash or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing your tasks. The most tr tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. For some of you, the patience that you have had. For some of you that are losing faith in this connection, listen, some of you and... You know, what can I say? Some of you maybe need to take a break from tarot, especially if you're giving your power away. That's bad for fucking business. That's bad for me. <laughs> it's bad for my views. Um, but really, some of you do need to take a step back and you really need to maybe instead of watching a tarot reading, pull up like a meditation, a heart chakra meditation, a crown chakra, like move through all of your chakras and do meditations, um, focusing on your breathing, getting into the present moment, shifting it, shifting it. OK, if that resonates with you, then yeah. You know, God will always find a way for me as far as if I'm supposed to be doing this. So, you know, I don't want to lose any of you, but I also do understand that sometimes you do need to take a break and not get caught up in the readings. Again, if you are giving excessive power to the readings and waiting for this to happen instead of focusing on your healing etc i know some of you're not going to want to hear that okay 1331 good fortune advice comfort major change major change a big break something shifting within this connection individuality independence have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future a piece of good advice a moment of enlightenment that word specifically so maybe you gave your person some type of advice or there was a conversation where you spoke your truth and you have um other than enlightened, you have awakened, you have stirred this person or a comforting message. It's on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. You know why? Because everything is always working out, whether we can see it or not. Everything is always working out. If you're dealing with the twin flame connection, you were not in union. Everything is always motherfucking working out. You're dealing with a, a soulmate. In and out conversation. Everything is always working out. You're with them. You're not with them. Everything is always working out and not. <clears throat> listen, the thing is, is it's not just saying it. It's actually feeling it energetically, just knowing it, it doesn't really matter. What's meant for you will find you. Trust me, back in the day cafe. Fuck, man. I was probably watching 
at least 20 videos a day and it could have been more depending on how long some of these readings were okay we've got indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you indecisive about see because there's definitely this momentum this energy of like i need to talk to you i need to communicate and if you're not getting it either a it's not your reading or it's because this person is held back maybe by the negativity again that is surrounding them dude very specific message for some of you if you know that your person is dealing with somebody else this person um has influenced them they could be um again very specific black magic some kind of black magic is being used um something that is not of the light in order to pe keep this person connected to them again very specific not everybody you know is going to resonate with that <clears throat> self-love i am still trying to heal A lot of what's going on is literally a projection of this person's pain. The things that may be happening that are triggering you, maybe making you question your worth, your lovableness, that's not even a fucking word, but making you question and maybe has even created some insecurities in you or insecurities are coming up to the surface because of this connection with this person keep in mind dude they are not the root of those insecurities or of that pain they are literally representing a way for you to find you get a little map like hello <laughs> i'm gonna run away from you even though i feel this way even though you feel this way about me you know and make you feel all sorts of things in order to really just show you what needs to be healed we've got time i'm afraid it's too late to take action there was another card that had something to do with time um unexpected change and to have patience so the time may be coming there may be something something to do something to do with time inseparable always connected our love is always there despite the distance and why because you are always connected to this person that actually could be what they are being enlightened about because this person definitely is feeling your energy, picking up on your energy. No matter how much time has gone, has gone by where you haven't talked to this person. For some of you, you've not even met this person. This could be something that started online. Again, very specific message for some of you. You've never even met this person <clears throat> what else does the collective need to hear right now spirit when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love and time again <sighs> really just feeling like something has happened that is making them feel like time is not on their side so just time that's what i was feeling now you were trying too hard give it time okay time time only a matter of time something coming in again feeling like they are maybe one more or two more i'll take it maybe feeling like they're running out of time surrender at times seriously 
fucking Linda. Listen, motherfucking Linda. <laughs> Listen, Linda. Listen to me, Linda. All right, surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Thank you, spirit. Something with... um. What was it? I, you know, I don't even follow that shit. There was something recently with the moons and the, I don't even know. I don't, I don't get, I'm not really a big fan of, uh, um, astrology and like the star placements. And it's like speaking Chinese to me. I've tried, I've tried to watch people. I just, I don't understand it. Um, and we've got reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best you're being called to go within to go within yourself to heal to um, practice meditation again for some of you instead of turning on that tarot reading to feed the ego you need to turn on something for your soul meditate focus on your breathing you don't even need to turn anything on maybe write journal um write music do 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 something other than turning on a reading for some of you that really are giving your power away that are i see you in the comments some of you you know this is never gonna happen it's the same reading it's the same blah 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 you're given too much power to the reading and then you're disappointed because you're not receiving communication whoever's reading this is you can't make this fucking shit up so as i split the deck and this card doesn't even belong doesn't even belong in this deck time to come back sorry i couldn't read that backwards time time again Ugh. This just happened to me the other day. I was doing a personal reading and they were all mixed up and I was like, never going to happen again. Is this the one and only card that is in this deck that does not belong to this deck? The one and only card in this deck. So you know what? I guess I'm not supposed to be, yeah, pulling. We've got grieving, battle of wits. I was going to say I'm not supposed to be pulling from this deck, but then that just kind of stuck out. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create positive change. Now I am going to pull from this deck now. See? Completely different deck. Completely different deck. All right. <clears throat> Again, hearing hold on to the night, hold on to the memory. I have no idea who sings it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you guys are actually pretty good at figuring out the song. Sometimes there's like stuff and I'm like, no, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the song. And I, by the time these readings are done and uploaded and actually released, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. The runner is acting cold because of insecurities. Wanting to tell you how I feel. Like I said, very heavy energy for communication in this reading. Communication coming fucking very quickly for some of you. Um, the more that you focus on yourself and the more that you heal yourself, the more you will be in alignment with your highest good. This person coming in and actually communicating. Um, getting overwhelmed by this feeling, specifically pressure is the word that I'm hearing, feeling pressured to like get this going, to, to say something, to do something again, to come and see you, to email you, specifically email for some of you, I dream of being with you again. best part of waking up is folders in your cup <clears throat> i dream of being with you again reflection the enlightenment could be coming as you're surrendering to what is not what you want it to be but what is and what currently the connect like where the connection is at 
this person seeing themselves in you, seeing the reflection in you, feeling your energy. Definitely wanting to communicate, maybe even coming clean. I hide my love from you. They could be wanting to give you something as well. Something meaningful, something of theirs that this person wants you, wants you to have. It's almost like they don't want you to forget them. Feeling like you maybe will forget them or you're not, maybe you're not chasing, you're not reaching out to them. You're kind of just, again, surrendering to this beautiful connection and just allowing it to be what it is. This person can feel that. Okay, meeting me in the 5D confirmation. Some of you are dreaming of your person. If you don't remember your dreams, pay attention to how you're feeling. Some of you could be waking up, maybe feeling sad or just feeling kind of off or even energetically throughout the day feeling this how do you know if it's your energy yo if you are just like absolutely fine and then all of a sudden you get like this rush of energy like a tingling or um overwhelming sadness and you don't know where it's coming from it is your person especially if you are dealing with that otherworldly connection you are always connected always connected What's up with the time? I'm gonna take, I'm just, I'm so nosy, okay? What is it about the time? Can you clarify? <clears throat> Now's the time. Running out of time. Please clarify why is time coming out four and five times in this reading what is the significance of that card six of wands like i said they've been enlightened by something this person is recognizing something maybe recognizing the connection with you um recognizing how this connection could grow into something absolutely amazing their insecurities could literally be one of the main components in why they are holding back. They could even be comparing your connection to other connections, but there is recognition here. Um, there is that enlightenment. I do feel like this is newly founded for them as well. Maybe always have felt some type of connection to you, but... Um, something is really shaking this person up, stirring them up, um, even specifically flustered, feeling flustered, feeling, I don't know, I was going to say feathered. That's like, what the fuck is that? Just, um, feeling like there's some, now's the time for some type of movement for expressing themselves. Wow, some of you even to propose to you. Just looking at the depiction of the gentleman down, looking up at her almost as if, you know, the way that someone gets proposed to. Oh, well, with the King of Cups, they definitely see you as wifey or husband material. Keep in mind, it is an energetic reading. I do know that I have men watching, so it's a female that you are watching for it's it's fucking energy okay although for some of you um there are some females that would propose i don't know i'm old school like i i'd be so embarrassed oh my god <laughs> but no judge that's just for me pers that's for me personally <laughs> uh, i watch too many disney fucking movies anyways so 
some of you have been very patient and just allowing things to unfold with this person and they are waking up they are seeing some type of truth when it comes to you in this connection it could be coming through in their dreams they could be feeling that pressured energy of you know it's time to come back it's time to make their way back to you it's time to talk to you and stop running away from you <clears throat> dude i almost feel like this person it's almost as if they didn't yes maybe feeling connected but didn't understand fully what this was and over time it's it's become more clear for them Again, they could be getting signs and synchronicities. It could be coming through dreams. They are dealing with some negativity external factor wise that has maybe influenced them not being able to come charge, <laughs> charge at you the way that they want to. <clears throat> hiding that love from you, hiding how they feel. But again, um, if hiding from themselves, being enlightened, being awakened to this, recognizing how much you mean to them. Maybe at some point they didn't, you know, they didn't think that this would be anything that would turn into a commitment or with you guys marrying each other. Maybe they didn't see a future between the two of you at some point <clears throat> definitely do feel like there is this shift this big shift this big great motherfucking shift with this person and for some of you it could be because maybe you walked away all right we got twin flame 22 22 <clears throat> there's much work for you and your twin as you are finding balance this is the time to forget I'm sorry, I said forget, it says forgive yourself and others as well. You need to find peace. The core of your soul needs balance in order to move forward. Your twin may be awakening. If you're seeing any variation of this, make sure you look it up online. We've got no <clears throat> so some of you are not going to be looking it up online <laughs> you just want to take the message from the video and the reason that i say that is because everything due to twin flames and angel numbers it's all based on opinion so if you're not seeing these numbers i wouldn't suggest looking it up but if you are i would suggest it and the reason that i would is because there may be other messages for you dude need to manage our own balance spirit coming through what i was saying maybe instead of turning on a tarot reading going and meditating god will always make way for me yes i may stress the fuck out between my channel and everything else that i have going on but if i meant to continue to do what i'm doing i know that i am protected and the money will come the energy that i put out it will be received in a way where i can continue to do this if i no longer am supposed to be doing this then it is what it is a reunion is on the way some of you, that's what you could not be believing, not trusting, because I'm putting that on the no card. A reunion is on the way. Maybe some of you, because you're not seeing it, because you're not seeing it in the 3D, you don't think that it is happening. Some of you may even be questioning your connection, questioning, questioning your person. I've cleared my karma and I'm moving towards you. At the very least, this person's going to come in and at least tell you how they are feeling. <sighs> Never meant to hurt you, didn't want to hurt you, dream of being with you. Dream of being with you. Having visions. I, oh, I feel like this person's almost like playing out a conversation that they think will take place with you. 
<clears throat> feeling that there's definitely um, this feeling of being uncomfortable, having to <laughs> be so vulnerable. It's in reverse. When it's in reverse, talking about our twin flame journey. Maybe you told this person that you feel like they're your person. This is an otherworldly connection. They could have really dismissed that uh, idea. And we've got, I need to walk away. Everything that's happened within your connection has been guided. There is no coincidence. There is no, you know, second guessing things that have happened in your connection because they brought you right where you are right now. And where you are right now is absolutely perfect. Don't try to, to force it. Just literally, dude, sit with your fucking feelings. Sit with it and feel it and get to the root of it and release release all of that these cycles of in and out and together and not and all of this will continue until you truly focus on your healing and and releasing some of that Ugh, the trauma and, and the, the other wounds, the childhood wounds and anything that you have in you that is not serving you. Releasing all of that, purging it, getting it the fuck out of you. Yeah, spirit coming in. Your glass is filled all the way to the brink. There's nothing to... F there's no room. Linda, there's no fucking room. There's no room. Release it. Make room. Make room for this person to come in. Make room for whoever's supposed to come in to come in. Trust that everything is always working out. All right. Back to the deck that I originally meant to pull from. <clears throat> Taming the beast. Yeah, you definitely have this person. And I, I feel like, again, they could have felt connected from the beginning to you but not understanding it and now understanding it like they see how much you mean how valuable you are you make them putty in your hands they know their old conquering ways will not work with you will not work with you coming in with the new new instead of the old old listen trust your fucking intuition they come in they're doing the same shit choose yourself don't accept that behavior if you're looking for your future husband your future wife and they are doing things that are not in alignment with what you desire <clears throat> i don't give a fuck what you think the connection is it's not healthy don't use a label to mask an unhealthy connection with somebody don't allow that to be an excuse like it's okay because I think you is my twin flame. Like, no. Really, the twin flame um, ideology or the idea of it, um, it's been so fucking romanticized. And the honest truth is that it's not about this person. They come in for a reason, for a season, for a lifetime, whatever it is. And nothing that is done can change that. But to get you on the path to your healing because <laughs> uh, i'll tell you everyone else other than this dude i would just close the door on that shit actually i did close the door on him but then the door just kept opening so you get what i'm saying but eventually at some point you have to choose yourself no matter how much love um, you have for your person no matter how much connectedness you feel to them um, you know if they're entertaining other people or if they're married or if whatever their situation is they're hot and cold they're whatever it is focusing on you focusing bringing all of that energy back onto you doing right by you I had a healing session with Jen yesterday and literally and like I've always sold myself out. I've always been like a people pleaser. I've always put everybody before my own needs. And in a way that is manipulative. That that energy of like needing to people please 
And then I had jobs that just reinforced that fucking energy. You know, it didn't matter what the fuck I was doing. Pay attention to stuff like that, because those are the things that need to be healed. And maybe that's why, you know, you're experiencing what you're experiencing in in your connection. And that's not for everybody. This is not, you know, Kelly's knows the truth. No, everything I fucking say is based on my opinion. And you may agree or disagree, and that's fine, okay? You can expect, like I said earlier, it's like they wanted to come in and give you something, okay? We've got gesture. You can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Trusting yourself first and foremost. If they deserve to have another chance, another opportunity. Maybe even go in without expectations, just allowing. When you connect with your person, connect with them. Just focus on connecting with them in that moment, not, okay, so what's going to happen now? So now we're always going to be talking and then we're always going to be seeing each other and then, you know, we're going to move in, we're going to get married. Like all of these things, like, okay, union is coming, yay. <laughs> just release that expectation when it comes to this person. Yeah, they you're no longer entertaining half-hearted efforts for those of you and that's something that keeps this person at bay because coming in with you know um half-assed attempts is not enough it's not enough at this point you know why because you've healed to a certain level where you're not accepting it regardless of the connection okay and feeling guided to read what's behind this gesture card it says the key entering and leaving okay first obtain and create a key it could be a it could be a ring a robe a gesture a stone anything that will act as a symbol for the opening of the place i felt guided to read you want to pause the video read that in the back <clears throat> hidden love unspoken love marriage they see you as marriage material someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation of marriage then the unspoken love they've been carrying a torch for you all alone but able to con unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection oh yeah enlightened i really feel like this person at some point you know they just they they knew there was something about you but maybe they just didn't see like the bigger picture they they didn't see <laughs> themselves marrying you please don't you know take that as a trigger for some of you that could be very triggering but it's it's just like they didn't see that in the beginning yeah they may have felt connected to you or, or knew something was different about you but what this person is thinking and feeling and literally hiding from you, their feelings, the love that they have, um, this this is something that's even taking them by surprise. What they could actually be dreaming of is marrying you. Remember, the first card for the overall energy that came out was the King of Cups and I believe it was the Knight of Swords. Yeah, King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. move slowly remember how i was mentioning time and time kept you know coming up and something to do with time and it's all feeling like they're running out of time this person may want to move very quickly <clears throat> always do whatever you feel guided to do but just you know trust that intuition man how does it feel if some if that does happen if this person reaches out all of a sudden you're seeing each other and then they propose to you like 
slow it down a little bit. I feel like they're very anxious, um, very, very anxious, very sad, uh, willing to do almost anything to kind of change the course of what they're going through and what what's happening to them. Dude, what the fuck? I haven't used this deck in a while. Of course, feeling guided to pull from it. And I was just talking about this. If I asked you to marry me, would you say yes? I want you to be mine and only mine forever. I mean, I ask myself if I am who you truly deserve. You deserve the world and more. Yeah, seeing that you deserve commitment you deserve you deserve someone to be loyal to you you deserve all the love this person they have a lot of fucking love for you they have a lot of desire a lot of passion for you again it's something they could have felt in the beginning but they may have downplayed it they may have kind of made it just like uh you know <laughs> But again, somehow they are seeing it very clearly. They're very in tune. It's like this person was out of tune and now they've been like tuned up, like in tune to what's really going on. They could literally be seeing um, the angel cards that I was pulling earlier, the angel numbers. They could be seeing that, that accompanied with dreaming of you, feeling like they feel your energy. divine timing timing again dude is that play and we need to wait for union time to heal and evolve dude i daydream about the moment i can sweep you off your feet and embrace you with a kiss i'm ready to open my heart up and have an honest conversation with you dude I'm going to leave it right there. I am going to take this to an extended um, find like time frame for those of you that are interested in like, when is this going to happen? Remember, time is nonlinear. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do that. I want to dive um, into the heart space and really get a feeling of how this person is feeling for you. Time frame card and then action. What kind of action and then what other blocks are kind of interfering right now something to do with the timing again i was just saying you know what was coming to mind when it comes to that time there definitely is this pressurized like there's not much time left some of you literally could be moving on maybe entertaining other people one card kind of slipped off so i'm gonna take it i know i hurt you and i wish i could go back in time <laughs> To do things differently, I plan on making you a priority and showing you how significant you are to me. You definitely mean a lot to this person. You definitely, um, this person absolutely could have changed your life and the same in return. Again, there's a lot that is coming to the surface with this person. And I do feel like some of you are going to get communication um, very soon, very soon from this person. And not just the thing about it is I feel like it's going to be different. It's going to be different and you're going to feel it. Again, trust your intuition. Anyways, I'm going to take it to an extended. If you're new to my channel and you did my vibe. Oh, shit. And not my voice because I can't fucking sing and I don't really care. Um, it's not an iguana. Down here in Florida, we've got um, lizards. This one looks to be about maybe four feet, including the tail. Um, anyways, we've got a lizard right on the fence. They're not an iguana. I can't remember what they're called. Ah, shit. Um, anyways. That's on the fence. That may be a message for some of you. I, It's fully green and it's sort of like an iguana. I think they're actually more dangerous than iguana. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, uh, whatever. For somebody. Bye.